God's grace is still shining. And my fellow Americans, the best is yet to come. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. Thank you very much. In an extraordinary act of defiance, Nancy Pelosi made clear what she thought of the speech. But her party needs more than gestures to prevent Mr. Trump winning a second term. In Woods and Sky News, Washington. There are some interesting things that are taking place which are brewing in the world of politics right now. And I'm going to bring to you some of these things to light that you may, you know, in case you, you are not fully aware of some of the things that have been taking place. Well, the one thing that I know everybody's been paying attention to is the Trump impeachment hearing. And that's been going on for quite some time, but it finally has come to an end. And yes, the results are exactly what we have all anticipated. You know, I like we knew that Trump was not going to be impeached. And we just found out that President Trump has truly been acquitted from these uh, Senate I mean, not from the Senate, I was going to say the Senate charges. <laughs> the articles of impeachment that were laid against him, the two articles, the two articles of impeachment that were presented as a case against Trump, those two have been dropped. Those charges have been dropped and therefore President Trump is not guilty of them. He is no longer being impeached. So, for those who are Trump fans, that's one good news for you. Second thing I want to share with you guys is this. President Trump is going to win 2020. I've already said that before. Trump is going to win 2020 election. All right? That's not there's not there's not even there's no even ifs or buts about it. Trump is going to win 2020 election. There's no competitor right now from the left wing from the left-wing junkies, there's no one from that side who can be able to take on Trump at the moment. The way it is right now, the lefts have basically destroyed their reputation. Speaking of destroying reputations, here's what I want to share with you. And this is very... Listen, look. If ever... If you want to display any type of... If you want to show people that you are a reasonable person, you do not do what Nancy Pelosi has done. You see, Nancy Pelosi has done the unthinkable and it's the first time ever that, that any House Speaker has ever done this. Now, Nancy Pelosi, she took, this is during the, well, when President Trump finished the State of the Union, his, his State of the Union address. What's interesting is that Nancy Pelosi took those are uh, the, the State of the Union address and she basically shredded it and ripped it in pieces. Ripped it, shredded it, took another one, shredded it. Now that spoke high volumes to the American people. And what you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, is why this is going, why this hit many people is, wait a second. And I did watch the, the State of the Union address. Not the full thing, but I was able to see, I, I was able to watch a good, a good chunk of it. And, in, and you can see that Trump was awarding and he was acknowledging some of the regular people who were brought in at the, at the, at the, at the place there. And what I found fascinating is that when, when Nancy Pelosi took that paper and she, those papers and she was ripping them, what that was saying was she was against anything that was pro-America. That's what it was speaking for the people of the nation. As they looked at that, that's what they were beholding. And that, you know, and I don't blame them for seeing it in that, in, that, in that way. But what you have to understand is this. If Nancy Pelosi was truly a thinking person, do you honestly think that she would, 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 would go to the point of ripping this thing in front of, on live television in front of people, in front of the whole world, and just do that? Because what she has just done is she has just ensured President Trump's 2020 victory. They basically just gave assurance that Trump is going to be the president in the year 2020. Well, actually, this is 2020. The 2020 elections, but President Trump is going to begin in 2021. His second term. Do you, do you see what's going on? Something is happening behind the scenes 
somebody knows something, these people are playing their part in a game. These are actors. Nancy Pelosi and all those whiny babies, including Hillary Clinton, all of these are simply, actually, they've been turned against themselves. They are actually at war against themselves. It's as if it was intentional. The media has been attacking the character of, of Trump in such a way that they want to destroy, well, they knew that they were doing, that they were going about it the dumb way, but they still are doing it. They're still going and creating this animosity, you know, basically turning the people against one another. And people are, are able to see through that. People are able to see through that sham. The only people who can't seem to see are those people who are, ah, the, the different colored, the different colored, the people who have a flag that has different colors. Now, here's the thing, getting back to this thing here, it's quite interesting and fascinating that right now, do not expect to ever see a Democrat become a president again. At this point in history, only a Republican, the Republican government is going to remain and it will only be a Republican president that will remain from here on. And President Trump, I truly believe he is not going anywhere. America is in a, on a verge of changing. The entire structure of America, the government of America right now has basically turned against itself. And this is, this is what we're seeing right now. But make sure you understand this. Trump right now, he is surrounded by people who, the Christians, these are devils. There are just some things that don't quite add up when you really begin to look at these things from a microscopic standpoint. And I mean, if you really looked at how the Democrats are behaving, what you will see is that the Democrats are behaving like little babies. Oh, oh, muffin, oh, muffin, oh, do you have milk? You want, you, you want milk? Here, I'll give you milk. Right, here you go. Here's a milk of truth right here. Oh, 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 no, you're still crying? Okay, you know what, truth? All right, well, what, what do you want? Oh, my little baby. Oh, my little baby Democrat, what do you want? Uh, okay, wait, wait, let me, let me give you something that will cheer you up, okay? Hold on, hold, hold on, my little baby Democrat. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, I got just the right thing for you. I got a, I got a flag right here. It's got the rainbow on it. Here you go. Is that gonna make you feel better? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be quiet. All right. <sighs> Look, when we really examine this, ladies and gentlemen, something's not sitting right. Because these Democrats, it seems as if they are intentionally destroying their own reputation. And while they're destroying their own reputation, they're actually turned against themselves. It's, it, it's almost in such a way as if it is calculated to ensure President Trump will gain the upper hand. And President Trump is gaining the upper hand and President Trump is going to win the 2020 election because Trump is meant to stay in office. It's quite interesting when you go to the book of Revelation, as I'm looking at Revelation chapter 17, there are some interesting things. I, I, I'm not going to share it here yet at, at this point because I'm still studying. Listen guys, if there ever was a time that we need to be grounded in, in searching for the word of God, searching for understanding and wisdom, now is the time. If there ever was a time for all of us to be searching, to be searching for our Heavenly Father and remain grounded in solid truth, now is the time. We can't afford to be distracted anymore. A huge shift of government is taking place right before your eyes. Are you, are you fully aware? Look, there will never be another president that will come from the Democrat for a long time. And I mean, I truly believe that even it will be, this world doesn't, do you honestly think that this world has another, another 15 year, 15 more years? Do you think that we still have 10 more years? Maybe we do, but do we really have 20 years? If you really examine what state of times we're living in, we are now at the stage 
of the union of church and state. We are now at the, at the phases of the introduction of the mark of the beast. We are here at this point, ladies and gentlemen, in which we are going to see the whole nation be triggered to move in a direction of a national Sunday law. It's bound to happen. But I want to be on a train that is bound for heavenly glory. How about yourselves? There's a lot more. There's a lot more that can be said about these things. I'm just saying that there's a lot of things that are very questionable with regards to these things that are going on and why Nancy Pelosi ripped those papers? Why she ripped those papers? That spoke high volume. It's as if she has given the assurance that Trump is going to win 2020 election and they destroyed their own reputation. Think about that. Think about it. This video was just more me just putting my, my inputs on, on these subjects, but there's a, there's a much more biblical side of things that we need to go and do an in-depth study of these things. Biblically speaking, we are living in biblical times. And I'm excited for the events that are unfolding right before our eyes. We are, we are witnessing the unfolding on prophecy. All of these things are prophetic. It's all prophetic. President Trump is not going anywhere. Mark these words. He's not going anywhere. President Trump is going to remain the president. Next year, he's going to be president. He's going to remain. He's going to be the one to win the, the 2020 elections. Just watch. You know? Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to cut the video over here. And we're going to continue this on a different video. We're going to continue our voyage through, like our, our journey through these things in the next upcoming videos. So please stay tuned. I'm going to try and have as many videos as I can every single day. Try to upload at least one video a day. So turn your bell notifications on. I will try to do that at least once a day. Or if not once a day, it may be after two days, our, our video will be dropped. So make sure you, you stay tuned. Be a uh, subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. There's more information coming across your way. Until we meet again, you take good care of yourselves. Be safe, and I will see you guys next time.